NVIDIA and Apple are two of the largest corporations in the world, with market capitalizations exceeding $1 trillion and increasing. So which one is the better artificial intelligence stock to buy today? NVIDIA's stock price has increased substantially on the back of its products it sells to companies developing artificial intelligence. It's already selling significant quantities of this product. It's already generated significant quantities of revenue and profit from artificial intelligence. Apple, meanwhile, has just now recently launched its AI strategy, but its stock price is trading near record highs ahead of what it's already anticipated to deliver. So it's going to be interesting. Let's compare these two excellent large cap tech stocks and answer which one I think is the better buy today. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, the first metric I want to compare these two on is revenue growth over the last decade. And looking at this chart, you can see Nvidia in the orange there typically performs better and grows revenue faster than Apple at least in the last decade. Now, this lead has absolutely widened in the last year and a half or so as Nvidia's revenues has exploded, while Apple has flatlined and even turned negative 4.31%. 4.31%. Longer term, however, I think these two, their revenue growth rates will converge. This gap will be narrower. However, I still feel NVIDIA will exceed Apple in terms of revenue growth. The markets NVIDIA is selling into are growing much faster than the markets Apple is selling into. And so that tailwind from the industry will lift NVIDIA much faster than and Apple can grow its revenue because Apple operates in a mostly mature market. The smartphone market is already very mature, whereas NVIDIA right now, the primary market it's selling into is enterprise development of artificial intelligence, which is just now getting underway. I feel there's a decade or more of investment in this category where NVIDIA can capitalize from. And then there are next areas where NVIDIA can capitalize on with generative artificial intelligence that is in healthcare, autonomous car technology, etc. So I feel NVIDIA's revenue growth prospects are much better than Apple's over the longer term. I also wanted to look at operating profit margin. And over the last decade, again, NVIDIA exceeded Apple in most years, in most time periods. However, there were brief moments where Apple exceeded NVIDIA. NVIDIA's business more cyclical compared with Apple more seasonal. Whereas, what do I mean by that? NVIDIA's ups and downs go through years, whereas Apple's ups and downs go through quarters. You know, Apple generates the bulk of its sales during the holiday season. So the rest of the year sales are kind of lulled. And then that December, you know, November, December, January months, sales are really, really high. I should say uh, October, November, December instead of January. Those are the best months for sales for Apple. Whereas Nvidia, it's not really the months which are the best. It goes by the upgrade cycle for semiconductors and the semiconductor industry overall, the end market for enterprise investment. Right now you're seeing a massive investment from enterprises building out their AI networks, their AI factories, You know, starting last year, increasing this year, and then increasing again next year. And then you might start to see a little bit of a gap in 2026 and 2027 and 2028, perhaps even. And then another big investment cycle in 2029 as those AI factories that were built in 23, 24 and 25 start to get their upgrades, start to get the replacement cycle underway. So that's why NVIDIA's business has been more uh, cyclical in terms of a couple of years, Apple more seasonal and more consistent. That's why you see the volatile operating profit margin for NVIDIA, but NVIDIA at its peak right now, nearly double Apple's operating profit margin at 59.84% compared to 31% for Apple. Again, just like the revenue growth, I expect these two will converge as Apple's business 
swings more towards services, its operating profit margins are trending higher. And then NVIDIA, as it faces competition, its operating profit margins will likely converge. Right now, it's basically best in class with at least a two-step lead over the next best provider. More competition, more lower-priced GPUs, more lower-priced computing power, all of which will nibble at NVIDIA's operating profit margins and bring it down longer term. I also wanted to look at cash flow from operations to sales. And again, similar story, right? You see Apple more consistent, NVIDIA more volatile, likely because of the factor I mentioned earlier, seasonal versus cyclical. Interestingly, they both operate on a similar business model in that they both outsource the manufacturing of their products. Apple makes very little of its own products. It outsources the manufacturing. NVIDIA, the same thing. It outsources its manufacturing. Why does that matter for cash flow? Well, it doesn't need to buy the materials and own them throughout the manufacturing cycle, throughout the manufacturing flow. It only owns the inventory for a brief moment in time when it goes from the manufacturer's hands into its own hands. But NVIDIA quickly turns around and sells that inventory to its distribution to its distributors, companies like Dell and others that are selling NVIDIA's products to others. And so NVIDIA doesn't need to hold on to inventory very much. And when it does, it's not very large. And so it creates a nice cash flow from operations business because it goes from manufacturing to customer quicker. And it's not in NVIDIA's hands. It's not sitting in NVIDIA's hands in ownership. And similar with Apple, goes from manufacturer to distributors relatively quickly. And Apple doesn't hold on to inventory in any large magnitude for any long period of time. All right, finally, let's compare these two on valuation. Apple is trading at a forward price to earnings of 29, while NVIDIA is trading at a forward price to earnings of 38. Now, NVIDIA is trading at a more expensive valuation than Apple, but given that every metric we looked at, revenue, cash flow, and operating profit margin, NVIDIA was well ahead of Apple. And longer term, looking ahead five years, NVIDIA's prospects look better than Apple. And so I feel NVIDIA has earned this premium valuation over Apple. If I had to pick between these two artificial intelligence stocks today, I would pick NVIDIA over Apple. Now, there are many more factors to compare two businesses on, but that would require a much longer video. I wanted to make this video you know, in a bite-sized piece that you can digest on a break. And so I've condensed my analysis, which I've been following these two stocks for, you know, several, several years, over five years now. So I've known these businesses and the factors surrounding these businesses for a long time. And I've condensed all of that into this brief video here. I think they're both excellent businesses. I have both of them rated as a buy. I have NVIDIA ranked higher than Apple. I own Apple. I've owned Apple for a very long time, but I don't own NVIDIA. The reason I don't sell Apple and buy NVIDIA is for capital gains reasons. I would have to pay taxes on my gains on my Apple investment. So I'm choosing not to do that at this point. But in terms of if I was a fresh investor, no investment in either of these two, and I had to pick between these two today, I'd pick, I'd pick NVIDIA, and it would be NVIDIA by a pretty large margin. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.